Today, two brothers accused of sexually abusing a girl for nearly a decade face a judge in Perquimans County. Aaron and Benjamin Jackson each face multiple charges of second degree sexual offense. We first told you about the Jackson brothers in May. All six are accused of repeatedly sexually assaulting a girl they knew from the time she was four years old. The prosecutor dropped statutory rape charges for Aaron and Benjamin because of a clerical error. Ten on your side, Dan McNamara is live now in Perquimans County. She just stepped out of the courtroom. So, Ann, what happened today? Well, that clerical error is why we came to court today. The old charges had to be dismissed. The new charges uh, brought on, and with that comes a probable cause hearing. Today, that hearing was continued. We did get a chance to uh, try to speak to the men outside the courtroom today. Here's some video of when they walked from the court back and to where they're headed back to the jail. Here's what happened today. Uh, the prosecution asked that they uh, skip the probable cause hearing. Uh, the judge said that won't be good, so we'll actually do it next Wednesday. That is when they will all be back here in court. And the problem here was that the statutory rape charge did not apply because of the brother's age in comparison with the victim. I'm told there has to be between four and six years separating the suspect from the victim. That was not the case. They're only three years apart in this scenario. And that is why that the statutory rape charge had to be dropped. We also talked, um, tried to talk to the boy's parents outside court. They did not respond to us at all. They walked a pretty good distance. They had nothing to say. They are also facing charges in this case. Um, so all of this again culminating back to next Wednesday. That is when everyone will be back in court, including possibly the victim who the prosecution says now lives in Colorado. They said the victim could not be here today. That's part of the reason why they wanted to continue the case. Possibly next Wednesday we could hear from the victim testifying against the two brothers. Live in Perquimans County, I'm in McNamara, 10 on your side.